Karen, don't worry, it's fine! How can I not worry? This is my dad we're talking about. Honestly, when I saw Melissa and Mom, I kind of figured he wasn't gonna show up, but then he did. Which is great! Yeah, it's great! If I had time to prepare... Huh? My dad... Uh, I haven't seen or talked to him in such a long time. I don't know what to prepare you for. Hey, Aaron, however your dad is, I'm sure he's fine. Besides, it's the holidays. Holiday magic is sure to make him at least somewhat pleasant. <laughs> it's sweet of you to think that way, but... Ah, bu bu Holiday magic. Now, let's get back downstairs before my mom and your mom kill each other. But... Holiday magic, Aaron. Holiday magic. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, it's wonderful that you came, Mr. Lycan. Please, call me Derek. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know you that well to feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Figures. Can't take a simple kindness, I see. What did you just say? So, Dad! I'm actually really shocked you managed to make it. How did Offmal get in contact with you? She sent me a handwritten letter. A letter? A letter. <laughs> That's kind of old-fashioned, isn't it? Well, yes, but... A letter for me? It must be a business associate. What is this? Uh, there's glitter everywhere! Who does that? Huh? Dear Mr. Aaron's dad, my name is Afmal. I'm sure you've heard of me being with Aaron. Well, I wanted to invite you to spend the day or two during the holidays at our place. I've already invited Melissa, who's bringing your wife, and it would mean the world to Aaron and myself if you could make it. Yes or no, I hope you consider it. Afmal. P.S. I added glitter to the note because... Holy magic! Maybe it was the glitter, which I was kind of mad about for a while. But I was moved by the simplicity of the letter, and I realized I wanted to give Aaron a bit more of my time. At least for a day or two. Well, I'm happy, Dad. I'm sure Aaron is too. And you're all sure this isn't some kind of ploy to take Aaron away from my Afmal? <laughs> of course you would think of that. I have every right! Okay, sounds like we need a bit of holiday magic here! Is she being serious? Mom! I'm just saying. I have the perfect thing to bring holiday cheer. Christmas sweaters! Mom, Melissa, you're gonna have to wait until I finish making the other ones. Uh, thanks, but... We're good the way we're dressed. Thanks. Mom? Dad? Oh, um, that's okay. I know it might be a little forward, but hey, if the holiday feeling gets you, then you can put it on whatever. <laughs> we'll consider it. Perfect! Now, we need to go and pick out a Christmas tree. Oh, I got this. Hello? Yes, Stuart? Can I have you pick out a Christmas tree to be delivered to Aaron's address? What size? Oh, let me ask. What size tree are you thinking? Hey! Nuh-uh, not this time. We are going to do things the old-fashioned way, by ourselves. Yep. Melissa and I talked about your past, and we're going to do everything together. Huh? <laughs> I know the perfect place where we can pick a great tree. Trust me. Holiday magic! Uh... 
What's wrong, Sugar Pea? Well, I was thinking of going to get a Christmas tree with Kawaii-chan, but she's been hanging out with Damien lately. But if we don't get it soon, we won't have it up for long. Hmm, well, if you're that concerned about it, why don't you go out with your old man and we'll pick one out? Are you sure? I mean... Think about it this way. You and I don't have to decorate it, but we can at least set it up. That way you can spend time with your friend and your old man at the same time. Besides, I only got a small time to spend with you until I gotta get on the road to see your brothers. You know what? That sounds great. <laughs> Perfect! Come on, I know this great place! Bless you. Ugh, thank you. Ugh. Hmm, are you sure you're not sick? You've been sneezing a lot lately. <laughs> Kawaii-chan is fine. It's the holiday season, so obviously so many people are going to be thinking of Kawaii-chan. <laughs> I see. Alright, Kawaii-chan has a huge list to get. I still need to get gifts for Caitlyn, Lawrence, Afmel, Dante, Zane, Aaron. Wow! I have more shopping to do than I thought. There's no way I'm going to be able to pick out a tree this year. It's not the end of the world. Your smile is enough to make the holidays bright. Aww. Thanks, Damien. Wow, I wasn't expecting that to sound so romantic. <laughs> but it's true. Uh, either way, I'll help you get a tree later this week if you don't have one by then. Perfect. Now let's get to shopping. <gasps> oh no! What? I forgot to add Celestia and Eli to my list! Ah! Here we are! What kind of place is this? I thought we were going to a professional place. There's no place more professional than nature. Exactly, Aaron. This is a tree farm. It's a forest. No, it's a tree farm. See? There's a barn, and there are trees. Tree farm! Well, I think it's great. It's a shame some other people can't see that. But those people will probably find terrible trees anyway. Are you talking about me? If the wreath fits. Now, now, Mom. Let's... I'm going to find the best tree just to shut you up. <laughs> In your dreams! <laughs> Trust me, Mrs. Lycan. I've been trying to get her to be quiet for years. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. Hey! <laughs> it doesn't matter who finds the best tree! What matters is that this is the first time our family has ever done something like this. Oh, so this is a competition? No, Dad, it's not. That sounds like someone who's afraid of losing. <laughs> I am not afraid of losing. I just don't think this is a great time to... Lose to your old man? Dad, Aaron, this competitiveness has to stop. You guys have been like this with each other since I could remember. Besides, if anyone's going to find the best tree, it's going to be me! <laughs> oh, no you don't! Ha! <laughs> Kids. Best to let them get a head start so they can feel special. Be careful! It's very easy to get lost in the- You're going down! No, you are! Woods. <sighs> Well, I was hoping to do stuff with everyone, but at least they're excited. Let's see, let's see. A tree has to be classy, with a nice touch of dazzle. Hmm. Which one would she like?
A real man would chop down his own tree. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, it's you. This is my side of the forest. Go find your own. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but I was here first. Oh, yeah? Well, this tree is the one I picked! Hey, I saw it first! Excuse me, but I saw it. Ah, squirrel! Too prissy you can't handle a little squirrel. I... Oh, my Irene! Ah! Cheap, cheap. <laughs> yeah. Where could everyone have gone off to? Where is that coming from? Ah! Where did your shirt go? I'm chopping down this tree here! That wasn't the question! Oh, now I see where Aaron gets it from. Huh? What was that scream? Cheap, cheap. Oh, hey there, little guy. Can you help me get back to my family? Cheap. Aff, are, are you okay? Ah, Dad! What? Didn't think I worked out? Put a shirt on! <laughs> There's a giant squirrel in these woods! <laughs> it's huge! Oh, my. Can we please just focus on getting a tree? Actually, the one your dad has is pretty great. Really? Yeah. This one will fit perfect. As long as everyone else thinks so. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is. Well, I wanted to pick it, but I guess. Wow, um, thanks. Not many people tell me I'm great at things outside of work. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> Giant squirrel! Thanks, tiny squirrel. Cheap. Tiny? Let's just get the tree and get out of here! Right. <laughs> 